Your game plan for ensuring life. University and college rugby teams. Save 50% on your next custom Rhino rugby team kit order with a sponsorship from Penn Mutual. Your design, your logos, your colors. Includes jerseys, shorts, and socks. Save 50% on your next custom Rhino rugby team kit order with a sponsorship from Penn Mutual. Learn more at rhinorugby.com. In our game, we play with our hearts. We don't play with sticks, bats, or gloves. We don't wear shoulder pads or... Put in countless hours of training. Your physical fitness has been put to the test. You're ready for game day. But your hard work doesn't end when the last whistle blows. And neither does your financial fitness. Penn Mutual stands ready to support you and your financial goals after the game. Penn Mutual, your game plan for ensuring life. 
university and college rugby teams. Save 50% on your next custom Rhino Rugby team kit order with a sponsorship from Penn Mutual. Your design, your logos, your colors. Includes jerseys, shorts, and socks. Save 50% on your next custom Rhino Rugby team kit order with a sponsorship from Penn Mutual. Learn more at rhinorugby.com. In our game, we play with our hearts. We don't play with sticks, bats, or gloves. We don't wear shoulder pads or helmets. We keep playing when it hurts. And we leave everything on the field. What we wear must be built for our game. Leaders have a vision for the future. Welcome to the 2018 National Small College Rugby Organization Mid-Atlantic South Region Championship Final. Today's match is between Tennessee Tech University, representing the Dixie Conference, and Loyola University out of Maryland, representing the Potomac Conference. The winner will earn a place in the National Small College Rugby Organization Champions Cup National Championship scheduled for April 27th, April 28th, and the 29th at the Life University in Marietta, Georgia. We are coming to you live from East Clayton Community Park in Clayton, North Carolina. The National Small College Rugby Organization thanks the Clayton Bootleggers Rugby Club and the town of Clayton for bringing this championship match to their facility. The Penn Mutual Life Insurance Company is proud to be the top sponsor of Innsbro. Learn how Penn Mutual is committed to your financial well-being and helping you live life with confidence by visiting www.pennmutual.com backslash rugby. Rhino Rugby is the official Innsbro equipment and ball supplier. Innsbro thanks Rhino Rugby for their support of small college rugby by providing the Rhino Vortex Elite match balls and referee jerseys to outfit your team with equipment, apparel, and balls that facilitate improved performance. Go to www.rhinorugby.com. Rhino Rugby and Penn Mutual have teamed together to save Innsbro teams thousands of dollars. Rhino Rugby will work with your team to design your next kit. Mutual and Inscrew logos Pin Mutual will then cover up to half the cost of the college's organization. shorts, and socks. Go to rhinorugby.com or send an email to us.sales.com and start designing your kit today. The National Small College Rugby Organization thanks USA Rugby for its support and recognition of the National Small College Rugby Organization as an independent organization governing the small college national playoffs as well as sharing similar goals for bettering the collegiate rugby experience. For the latest National Small College Rugby Organization news, be sure to visit nscro.org. Like Inscro on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash NSCRO rugby. Follow us on Twitter at hashtag NSCRO rugby. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash NSCRO rugby. Today's webcast is brought to you by Event Webcasting, live streaming video productions. Find us on Facebook at Event Webcasting or visit us online at www.event-webcasting.com. And now, back to the game. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, so we have a scrum here about five meters outside the La Jolla tri, uh, tri line. Taken out by the number nine. Big clearance by the La Jolla number 10. Knock on by Tennessee Tech. We're gonna have another scrum. First one was a little rough, so we'll see how this one goes. Comes in and then kick by the Royal number 10. Tennessee Tex decided to run it. Slow ball. I'm gonna give it to the big man and carry it up the middle. Build up by Tennessee Tech. Johnston County Visitors Bureau. Go to johnstoncounty.com to learn more about how you and your family can visit Johnston County and have a great time. to get to set for another scrum after that injury a hold up they hold up being put on a little bit of pressure in the scrums we'll see how they can hold up on this one referee burpo says play on He's knocked into touch Of course, when it gets knocked into touch, the um, non-offending team has the option of either a scrum or a line-out. Since Tennessee Tech has an upper hand in the scrum, they chose to go with the scrum. 
I think it's a smart play by Gold to go to up here in this uh, situation. Like I said, they've been dominating. So we'll see what they do here. In it comes another solid scrum by Tennessee Tech. Looking to shift it out wide in the middle. He's been held up. Like Green might have come away with the ball. They have. Good tackle there by Black 14. It's again Tennessee Tech using the tactics of running it up with the big guys. Bashing it up around the fringes. Good hands there on that low pass. Tennessee Tech very patient in the build up. Seems to be content with just carrying it up a couple of meters at a time. It's a mall. We're gonna have to use it. But it comes. Taking up by number eight. Stolen by Loyola. We kick up field. Tennessee Tech looking to run it back at him. He's not easy to go down. They finally get him down though. Oh, big clean out off the ball. Elliot, or not on advantage. Penalty. Not sure what the penalty is for. Referee Joe Burpo is having a chat. Happy with what he's seeing out there. Taken in the line out by Tennessee Tech. Look to set up a mall. Out it comes. A loose pass. Cleaned up well by Gold. Bashing it out again with the big guys. Number seven, carrying strong. Itching closer. Looks like Black might have stolen it. 
LD. It's a penalty against Gold. Hands in the ruck. Once the ruck is formed, you cannot put your hand on it. Gold is in trouble for that. Loyola number 10, Murdaugh with a clearance. Mixing, making sure of its touch. That was a great kick there. They get a lot of trouble. Now they've got some space to work with. Let's see what these backs can do with the ball. It's a quick ball off the top by Black. Spread out the side. The Black Souls are in possession. They are looking to move it out wide. To tackle by Tennessee Tech. Penalty. We got time off. That was gold not releasing the ball carrier. As soon as you make the tackle, you must release and roll away. Another good clearance by Murda. Black moved the ball out wide well last time on their lineout. Excited to see what happens here. We'll see it's been uh, Back and forth, ding dong battle. The team's trying to get the upper end. Got a Viola line out. Tennessee. Line. Tennessee Tech has stolen it. Only playing the man in the air. Okay, black. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. For the first time, Loyola has been down on this end. We'll see what they can come up with. I would expect them all here, Mike. Big black forwards. Maul what do you think? I'm not sure if that's a good idea to try to maul it against the Tennessee Tech side. These are the big boys. Loyola 12, strong in the midfield.
with the score of 15. Possession. <laughs> See what Gold does with it here at the line out. They all are taken against one against the throw. Black eight in the line out would be a scrub goal. 
just going to dig out here. The Fortin coming in off the weak side. Slow ball. Penalty. Side entry. They've got to come through the gate in rugby. They came through the side. Lost the entry through the gate. That's what that penalty was for. You see Tech again trying to work it up with the big forwards. The penalty. We got time off. Yeah, it's two in a row, Mike. Uh, very short succession. That's a problem. Referee's going to have a word. The black team. Set up the line out five meters outside the Loyola high line. Expecting them to find Mullen in there. Yeah, I would agree, Mike. Gold strumming and mauling has been very powerful. And it's really dominating this first half. Yeah, you called it right, but Loyola did not challenge. Let's see what we got here. Oh, knock on by Gold. Unfortunate. Yeah. That could count themselves lucky getting away with it there. Yeah, I think it was a smart play by Black not to challenge them all. Forcing Gold to have to get the ball out, allowing Black to come in. Tackle the ball carrier much more easily. There's going to be some big pressure on the black front row here. They've been struggling the first couple of minutes of this game. Signaling with the cross line. We got an injury. Okay, it might be some blood. Uh, rugby, you can't have any open wounds. They must be uh, controlled and sealed properly. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like Black 3 is, has no problem. It seems like he's fine. Maybe there's still blood. Joe the ref wants to clean it up. Okay, good. Put a little band aid on it. Let's get back to the game. It's scrum by Tennessee Tech again. And yeah, they really dominated that scrum. So you have a scrum at five meter to Tennessee Tech. Here we go. Interesting. I, I expect the Tennessee eight to probably pick and go to the right.
scrub wheel that went back to the non-footed side. Now the new ball says goes back to the side that put it in. So it still holds the ball at the scrum. Another scrum reset. Big scrum against a Tennessee Tech. Out it comes. Oh, almost intercepted. No loss forward by Tennessee Tech. Come back for the first infringements. Knock on by Black. Mike, do you think that was an intentional knock on? Did you go penalty or scrum there? I know the referee is its sole judge of things, Brandon. Well, of course, we all know that. But what, how would you have called that? Uh, it looked like he had a legitimate go on it. I, I would want to agree with Joe out there in the middle. Yeah, I'd agree. You know, he hit the ball up, he didn't hit it down. Just a knock on there. Good call, Joe. Looking promising. They all our defense is holding up. And it comes again, number seven. And he's in for the try in the corner. Very well worked try, very patient in the build up. Scored by number seven, Ben Clark, Tennessee Tech. Taking the conversion kick, which is worth two points. And he pulls up a little bit to the left. Score is seven, Loyola. Five. Tennessee Tech. Oil is in black. Tennessee Tech in gold. Oil going to kick off here. Ten. Danny, I might have going to try to pronounce that last name. Kicking off. Nola has it. So ball coming out of the rock. Oh. Number 13. Uh, unfortunately, knocked it forward. That's me an opportunity on there. Yeah, that was a close one, Mike. He could have been off to the races if he would have taken that one. Good play by number eight from Loyola. Yeah, number eight from 
uh, Loyola, Abin Bola did a great job getting through there, making that pass at the end, just a little too high for 13 from Loyola. Bobby Gordon, just couldn't hold on to it. Almost there. And a solid scrum by Tennessee Tech. They seem to want to run it from everywhere. Might have been stolen by Black. Have a penalty. We have another chat. Tackle, no clear release in the tackle. You have to give the ball carrier an opportunity to play it. Be surprised if he goes for the three points here. It's only about six and a half minutes to go in the first half. Indeed, Joe Burpo indicates that he's going to have a shot. Yeah, smart play. Uh, number 10, fly half, Loyola. Danny Gianscoli with a kick here, three points. This will put them ahead 10 to 5 if he makes it. Right now, the score is 7 to 5. It is a little windy here. Gusts uh, coming in about 20, 25 from the southwest, blowing northeast. Yeah, I've seen this man have a couple of kicks before in Elon a couple of weeks ago, and he can pretty much make it from anywhere. On the way, yeah. goes the flags. That's 10 Loyola, 5 Texas Tech. Excuse me, Tennessee Tech. And my partner here, Brandon. Not very good with these American geography. Getting Tennessee and Texas mixed up, but. Yeah, two great schools. Um, I think I had Texas on the mind from the March Madness. Texas Tech went pretty far in my bracket, got me a lot of points. A lot of money. The kickoff not traveling 10. Receiving team always have the option of a re kick or a scrum. A lot of teams opting for the re kick. But it comes again to number 12. Time by Viola, number three. Unfortunate there. Scrum again, Texas Tech making out of the game line. Tennessee Tech. Brandon Sortman has me all mixed up now. Penalty against Gold. Kick for Loyola. Looks like they're going to go for a touch here. Gian Scoli with the kick. Gian Scoli. Nice kick. That was a beauty. Wow. Not to say a great attacking position. Nice kick 
came close to it. It's good clearance. Be interesting to see what they do with this line out. They're going to take on Tennessee Tech up front. Right. He's Jed. He does. Up off the top. The referee signals a scrum to Tennessee Tech. Big kick by Murda, and there's a chaser. Loyola oh, carrying it up the middle, getting some good meters. They're trying to shift it wide to number 13. Out it comes again, and the Royal at number seven. Stop just short. That was Jake Wash. Loyola taking up the center, number seven. Ball's a little slow coming out. Come on. Here it comes again to the big number eight. Yeah. And over he goes. Yeah, try number two, just on the stroke of halftime. Up goes the flags. Seventeen Loyola, five Tennessee. Tennessee to kick it off here to Loyola. Not much time left in the half. Aaron's kick by Loyola. It's inside the Tennessee Tech half. Referee Joe Burpo looking sharp as always. Yeah, he's as sharp as a thumbtack. Good line out by Tennessee Tech. Looking to move it wide into the midfield through the number 12. 
carrying very well. Advantage for a high tackle. Yeah, dangerous tackle there by number eight, Adam Bola. Too high around the neck. Yep, he knows. His hands up. He knows he did it. Wind picking up a little bit. Good touch by Tennessee Tech, they'll have an attacking line out inside the Loyola 22. This might be Tennessee's last chance to score before the half. Let's see what they go with here. Big play here needed by Tennessee. Yeah, I agree, Brandon. I Oh, they pick and go on the short side. Get in, yeah, I think it's a smart move for them to uh, take out the new forwards. Forwards are going to dominate the whole of here in this first half. Get low, get low. Oh, they try to shift it to wide. And there's a knock on. That should bring us to halftime. Put in countless hours of training. Your physical fitness has been put to the test. You're ready for game day. But your hard work doesn't end when the last whistle blows. And neither does your financial fitness. Penn Mutual stands ready to support you and your financial goals after the game. Penn Mutual, your game plan for ensuring life. University and college rugby teams. Save 50% on your next custom Rhino Rugby team kit order with a sponsorship from Penn Mutual. Your design, your logos, your colors. Includes jerseys, shorts, and socks. Save 50% on your next custom Rhino Rugby team kit order with a sponsorship from Penn Mutual. Learn more at rhinorugby.com. In our game, we play with our hearts. We don't play with sticks, bats, or gloves. We don't wear shoulder pads or helmets. We keep playing when it hurts. And we leave everything on the field. What we wear must be built for our game. Leaders have a vision for the future. They challenge the status quo. And they have a plan to reach their goals. What's your plan? With Penn Mutual by your side, the possibilities are endless. Penn Mutual, your game plan for ensuring life.
number five, class in Scrow would like to thank the Clayton Bootleggers Rugby Club and the town of Clayton for bringing this championship match to their facility. Penn Mutual Life Insurance Company is proud to be the top sponsor of Inscrow. Learn how Penn Mutual is committed to your financial well-being and helping you live life with confidence by visiting www.pennmutual.com backslash rugby. Rhino Rugby is the official Inscrow equipment and ball supplier. Inscrow thanks Rhino Rugby for their support of small college rugby by providing the Rhino Vortex Elite Match Balls and the referee jerseys. To outfit your team with equipment, apparel, and balls that facilitate improved performance, go to rhinorugby.com. Rhino Rugby and Penn Mutual have teamed together to save Inscrow the team thousands of dollars. Next time, Rhino Rugby will work with your team to design your next kit with the Penn Mutual and Inscrow logos on it. Penn Mutual will then cover up to half the cost of your college's rugby kit including jerseys, shorts, and socks. Go to rhinorugby.com or send an email to us.sales at rhinorugby.com and start designing your kit today. You don't want to get fooled before any kind of game. Inscro thanks USA Rugby for its support and recognition of Inscro as an independent organization conducting the small college national playoffs, as well as sharing similar goals for bettering the collegiate rugby experience. For the latest Inscro news, be sure to visit Inscro.org. Hey, hey! Like Inscro on Facebook at Facebook.com backslash Inscro Rugby. You can follow us on Twitter at Inscro Rugby. That's at N-S-C-R-O Rugby. And we're here to start the National Small College Rugby Organization Mid-Atlantic South Region Championship Final. This will be the start to the second half. Tennessee and Gold will be kicking to Loyola and Black. Referee Burpo gets the second half going. It's lost backwards by Loyola.
with long probing kick by the Loyola number 10. Right, he's got some space up the right hand side. Number nine is way up on the left hand side. We can get some quick ball. They decide to go the pick and go option. Has it and over they go. Yeah, they did. They were very patient in the build up. Another big kick downfield. His advantage. And a seat tech gonna try to run it up with the forwards again. I'm surprised how good the uh, Loyola defense is held up against these big runners from Tennessee Tech. Referee Burpo gonna no advantage. He's bringing them all the way back for the penalty. That's big number 17. He need to be somebody. Every. Let's go, Ted. Yeah, Dave's from New York. He's a senior. Let's go.
Quick referee Burpo playing advantage for the knock on Loyola. Gonna move it out wide. That one seemed to have gone sideways. think that he would be needing the tights today. <laughs> you know, those things can be, bring some heavy fines on you. Try to set up the exit strategy. Yeah, Loyola keeping them under some pressure here with the defense. They're going to continue to rumble it up the middle. That was turnover by Loyola. Taken up by number 12 right up the middle and he looks to go in under the post. by number 12, Pat Frick of Loyola. Good job finding the hole in the defense there. He just ran on in. Yeah, Amanda, I'm quite frankly pretty surprised about the scoreline at this point. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought the Texas Tech would have kept it a little bit. Tennessee Tech, my apologies. A little closer with their big boys being so effective carrying it up the middle, and we got Loyola taking it up again. Right up again by the Loyola number eight. Yeah. Nice little knock on at the back of the rock. Go. 
penalty for a deliberate knockdown. And try to set up the mall off the line out. No, they decide to tap and go quickly. I was turned over by Loyola. Up comes the chasers. It's a good kick. Oh, very well done. Tennessee Tech under pressure. They come away with it. They're going to have to use it. Seems like the Tennessee Tech forwards might have been uh, moving a little bit slower here the last 10 minutes of the first half. And They come again. Number, number 11 gets in and he's going to go around and put it close to the uprights. Scully with a conversion. Still with black. 
Number nine, Ramirez, putting it in. Over the gain line once again, but it's lost forward. Again with the forwards. Maybe we'll see them put some points on the board here. Out it comes. Big man is brought down. Big run. Get him low. Keep it low. Right up to the middle. Patience there by Tennessee Tech. Crazy instant replay. Look at that pick and go. It's exactly the pattern we've been seeing them play all day. It's nice to see it finally pay off. And referee Burpo right on the spot to see the grounding. Nice positioning by Mr. Burpo. <laughs> yeah, Joe's been officiating for about five years now. He really enjoys it. He's in it for the fame and money. Yeah, I absolutely have to agree with you, Amanda. Absolutely for the fame and money. Um, he's gotten a little bit of fame so far, not a whole lot of money. Well, we'll see how that works out for him. Well, you know, you can follow him on Twitter at at Burpo. Kick was no good. Our score is now. Hold on a second for the score. The score is 38, Loyola, 10, Tennessee. Hit low, hit low, guys. We start kick. Taken by Tennessee Tech. Nice clean up there. Another pick and go off the bat. Nice little backhanded pass outside. Looks like it was lost backwards by number seven. Hit low! Catch it. Hit low! Again, Tennessee Tech opting just to bang it up the fringes, but the Loyola defense is holding strong. Number 16. Tennessee Tech, very patient in this build up here.
looks like that might have been a steal by Loyola. Oh, Tennessee still has possession of it. That's a pick and go rugby. Uh, a lot of tackles being made by Loyola. Their discipline, however, is very good. Nice work keeping it from going in touch, though. There's the big number 16, Austin Hunter, again. They're still at it. Getting ever so closer. Not a question here on that loyal and defense. Here they come again, they're five meters out now. Another pick and go and he gets it out wide to the winger. Joe Burpo is bringing them back for a penalty. Uh, kicking the ball in the ruck, what the signal looks like. Looks like you're right, Mike. Hit him low! Tackle low! Tackle low! Yeah, Hunter Austin again with a carry. Oh, there's a penalty here. Joe didn't like something he saw here. He's gonna have a conversation with the Loyola team. They're under a lot of pressure, and they need to not infringe. Get it again, close to the goal line. Here they go. Number five, Tim Lemon, a senior. Looks. Good 
Gianna Scoli with the restart. Seeming pretty happy to go with this always up the middle five meters at a time. Well, it's been working for a mic, mic at the rock. This is tech number nine. Mix. Vortex Elite Match Balls and to outfit your team with equipment, apparel, and balls that facilitate improved performance, go to rhinorugby.com. 
Inscro again would like to thank the Clayton Bootleggers Rugby Club and the town of Clayton for bringing this championship match to their facility here in Clayton, North Carolina on this gorgeous, crisp spring day. Today's webcast is brought to you by Event Webcasting. Live streaming video productions. Find us on Facebook at Event Webcasting. Okay, boys, let's go. Back to the action after a couple of knocks and bruises that was taken there. Picked off the back. Rolo looking to move it wide, a kick through the middle, and here comes the chasers. Number 13. Let's see if he got that down. Doesn't look like it. over the touch and go. Walking back slow on defense. Kick forward and into touch inside the 22 of Tennessee Tech. Collision there between the two Loyola players. They decide to run it. And it's been knocked on. Come 
Yeah, the hands are probably a little bit cold. Referee Joe Burpo is the number one of Tennessee Tech. Even the field is being replaced. Come on, Loyola! Go hands! Get low! Loyola! Yeah, Jamal Booker leaving the field. Scrum against by Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Tech just making the meters with the big guys. It's carried up by Tim Lemon, the senior. No! No! And we go, another good run. That's squared out the side and it's hacked forward by Viola. Back trying to regather it. Uh, his bodies all over the ball, on the floor, off their feet. Number eight, Abin Bolo carried it up again. And here comes another Tennessee Tech substitution. <laughs> Looks like number 15, Devin Smith, leaving the field as well. scrums to get to the program usually. Put in by Jack Ramirez and he's going to go on the short side inside to Abimbola who gets it over and a very well deserved try for the hard working number eight. He has been prominent. Yeah, he has been really all over the park today, working very hard, carrying it up, making some good meters. Well deserved. Scores now 43-15. Let's see if they can convert this one.
one will Gooch leaving the field. They start kick downs just in field. Kick again. Good defense, good chase. Tennessee is just going to keep on the pick and go. Good bounce, number 10 for Loyola with it, and he's going to round it, and he's going to get it in the corner. Thanks for tuning in to this exciting match brought to, by, brought to you by Event Webcasting. The National Small College Rugby Organization Champions Cup National Championship scheduled for April 27th and 29th at Life University in Marietta, Georgia will be the next game following this. Big round of applause for Loyola beating Tennessee in this year's National Small College Rugby Organization Mid-Atlantic South Region Championship Final. Again, score is 52 Loyola, 15 Tennessee. And a word from our sponsors.
You put in countless hours of training. Your physical fitness has been put to the test. You're ready for game day. But your hard work doesn't end when the last whistle blows. And neither does your financial fitness. Penn Mutual stands ready to support you and your financial goals after the game. Penn Mutual, your game plan for ensuring life. University and college rugby teams. Save 50% on your next custom Rhino Rugby team kit order with a sponsorship from Penn Mutual. Your design, your logos, your colors. Includes jerseys, shorts, and socks. Save 50% on your next custom Rhino Rugby team kit order with a sponsorship from Penn Mutual. Learn more at rhinorugby.com. In our game, we play with our hearts. We don't play with sticks, bats, or gloves. We don't wear shoulder pads or helmets. We keep playing when it hurts. And we leave everything on the field. What we wear must be built for our game. Leaders have a vision for the future. They challenge the status quo. And they have a plan to reach their goals. What's your plan? With Penn Mutual by your side, the possibilities are endless. Penn Mutual, your game plan for ensuring life.